Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to update your AMD, GPU, or graphics card drivers. Now, updating your graphics card drivers is a pretty important part of your computer maintenance, especially if you're a gamer, graphic designer, video editor, pretty much anything that you may do on your computer that uses your graphics card is gonna rely on you keeping your graphics card drivers up to date. So if you're new to PC gaming or just new to computers in general, you bought a pre-built, I'm also going to show you how to identify your graphics card just in case you do not know what kind of graphics card you have. Now, if you use software, you don't really have to worry about identifying your graphics card because the software will automatically detect what graphics card you have and download the proper drivers. If you have an older graphics card or maybe something that's just been released, you wanna keep these drivers up to date to get the best performance possible. So let's go ahead and jump into it. To get started, right click on the start menu and select run. In the box, type DXDIAG. This will open the DirectX Diagnostics tool. At the top, click the display tab. On the left, you should see the name of your GPU and on the right, the current driver installed. You can also use device manager by clicking on the drop down arrow next to display adapters to identify your graphics card. Once you have your graphics card identified, you can go to Google and do a search for AMD GPU drivers. At the top, you should see a link, AMD drivers and support. Go ahead and click that one. This will take you to the AMD drivers and support page. Here we are going to download the drivers for the graphics card. So in this case, I'm looking for the RX 6500 XT. I'll start off by selecting graphics and then AMD Radeon RX 6000 series and then the 6500 series and then finally 6500 XT. From here, you will need to download the drivers for the operating system that you are using. So in this case, I'm using Windows 11. Under the operating system, you can see you have two options, auto detect the latest driver and install it, or use AMD Adrenaline to install the latest driver. In this example, we're going to automatically detect the latest driver and install it, so go ahead and click download. Once the download is complete, you can go to the folder where you download all of your files, go ahead and double click on the program so that you can start with the update. The software will check for compatibility and make sure that you've actually selected the right graphics card. You can hover over the driver version and get the release date. You can also select the drop down arrow and determine where you want to install the driver. Skip the installation of AMD Privacy View and then go ahead and hit install for all of the chipset drivers. This method only updates and installs the latest driver. It does not install any additional software on your computer. So if you're worried about background processes, this is definitely the way to go. During the installation, you're gonna see that the software is gonna download several packages and files that are required to update the drivers. So go ahead and be patient and let it do its thing. Your display may flicker or turn on and off. This is completely normal, do not freak out. Just be patient and then once it's finished, you will be presented with the window to restart your PC. Once you have restarted your PC, you can go back to the DirectX Diagnostics tool and see that you have actually got the latest version of the driver. Now, if you're new to computers in general and you're not really good with updating drivers, instead of doing the auto detect the latest driver and install, you can actually let AMD do the work. You can use AMD Adrenaline to keep your drivers up to date automatically, or at least notify you when there is a driver available. So here, instead of going to auto detect and install, we'll download AMD Adrenaline. Just as before, your display may flicker or turn on and off. This is normal, this is part of the process, nothing to worry about. Although you are installing software on your computer, this method is actually a little bit quicker in my opinion. So if you're new to PC gaming or updating your drivers and just want a little bit of help, this software will do a great job of helping you keep up with that. The process is pretty simple here. All you have to do is follow the prompts, click install, the driver will go ahead and update, and then you will be presented with a window indicating that the driver has been updated and that you need to restart your PC. Once AMD Adrenaline is installed and you restart your computer, then you can open that software up and then basically at the top right of the window, you can see what driver you have installed and then you should see a little green check mark, you know, indicating that you have the latest driver. If not, this is where you can actually go in through the process, 
of updating your driver. So the software will take care of that for you. All right, guys, so hopefully you got your graphics card drivers up to date. If you did and everything went smooth, please go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps this video get out to more people like you who may need it. And it also helps my channel get out to more people like you who may need to learn these types of skills. New graphics card drivers are released on a regular basis because there may be new software, new games, and things like that that are released. And in order for you to get the best performance out of your graphics card, those drivers have to be updated. So again, it's one of those things that you want to check about once a month just to make sure that you have the latest driver installed on your computer. If you have any questions or comments regarding this video, please go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below. I really appreciate you guys giving a small channel like this the opportunity to help you out with your computer and I hope to see you all again in the future.